monitor and control risks. Project risks do not remain static once the risk planning processes are completed. New risks crop up, responses may not work as planned, and the characteristics of risks might change. The risk monitoring and control process begins as soon as risk planning starts and continues until project closure. Activities in the monitor and control risks process include batching for new risks Analyzing identified risks for changes in probability or impact. Determining the need to execute contingency or fallback plans. Reviewing risk response actions and their effectiveness for risks that are underway, and if necessary determining the need to implement fallback plans. Keeping a close eye on the risk watch list. Monitoring residual risks. Atching for any assumptions that are not holding true. Making sure the risk management plan and risk management policies and procedures are followed. Analyzing risk data, identifying trends, and producing risk reports. Ensuring that appropriate records are maintained, including lessons learned documentation about risks Instigating recommended changes and preventative or corrective actions as a response to results uncovered from risk monitoring and control, monitor and control risks. Inputs Risk Register The Risk Register is a comprehensive list of all threats and opportunities the project faces. It also contains supplementary data about each risk, including its impact, probability, risk response, budget, risk owner, and contingency and fallback plans. Project Management Plan The Risk Management Plan is a component of the Project Management Plan. It details and defines the risk management activities for the project. The plan establishes the risk methodology, risk roles and responsibilities, risk categories, probability and impact scales risk tolerances, frequencies of risk management activities and reporting, and the budget and schedule for risk management activities, work performance information, schedule and progress status information, budget and cost status, quality status, estimates to complete, resource utilization information, and lessons learned. Any of this information can is useful for risk monitoring and control. Performance reports Performance reports provide information on schedule performance. They also can serve as alerts of current or potential problems, which impact individual and overall risk, monitor and control risks. Tools and techniques Risk reassessment Risk reassessment monitors identified risks for changes as well as watching for new risks. Risk audits Risk audits review the effectiveness of the project's risk management planning and may also be used to evaluate how effective risk response activities are for identified risks. Variance and trend analysis Deviations from the project plan can be indicators of a change in risk. Project variance tools, such as earned value analysis can indicate that current performance is not in line with what was planned. Technical performance measurement Technical performance measurement looks at the technical accomplishments achieved to what was planned. For instance, a difference in functionality within the deliverable can indicate a change in risk level for the scope objective. Reserve analysis Reserve analysis ensures that the amount of money or time in the contingency reserves is adequate for the risks remaining on the project's status meetings. Risk topics should be a regular agenda item at project meetings, monitor and control risks. Outputs Risk register updates Risk monitoring and controlling can result in updates to the risk register such as priority changes, trigger, symptom, or warning sign changes, 
or a change in risk responses due to the ineffectiveness of the original response. Organizational process assets updates. Variance analysis, the reasons for corrective or preventative actions, and any other lessons learned from risk monitoring and control should be documented as part of the lessons learned process so that they be available for later projects. Change requests. Risk monitoring and control may identify changes that need made to any component of the project management plan to influence risks. These requests are submitted for review to the integrated change control process. Project management plan updates. Risk monitoring and control can result in updates to the project management or any of its components. The project management plan details how the project will be executed, managed, and controlled, including many subsidiary plans as to how changes to major project components, such as scope, budget and schedule, will be handled, and how important factors such as communication, risk, and quality will be managed. The project management plan is the key source of information relating to project management for the project. Reject document updates. This process can result in changes to project documents beyond just the project management plan, risk monitoring activities. During risk monitoring and control, the risk or project manager relies heavily on the risk management plan and the risk register. The risk management plan identifies what monitoring and reporting activities are necessary while the risk register has the characteristics of each risk, including priority, plan response, personnel responsibilities, symptoms, contingency and fallback plans, and the approved schedule and budget. Work performance information and performance reports provide data the risk manager uses to monitor the effectiveness of risk responses, including whether they're functioning within the time and cost constraints established and that they're having the desired effect. Performance data can also indicate changes in the project environment that are affecting the estimated probability or impact of identified risks. Risk audits review the overall risk management policies, procedures, and processes. Audits review the effectiveness of the project risk management plan. Risk audits can also refer to analyzing whether the risk response actions were effective and what impact they had on the project's overall risk level. Risk reassessment looks at individual risks to make sure their characteristics remain as originally planned and it also makes sure that a mechanism and environment are in place so that new risks can be identified. Risk reassessment should be a tool that's part of the project culture and included as an agenda item in status or other project team meetings. Continual reassessment is needed because risks are very prone to change between project planning and project execution. Performance, personnel, environmental, Organizational and technological changes directly influence risks levels. Any desired or needed changes discovered during reassessment are funneled through integrated change control for further review and approval. Technical performance measurement. The project deliverables are made up of many specific objectives and characteristics, such as functionality, form, usability, and so forth. Technical performance measurement compares those objectives with what is actually being displayed in the deliverables and looks for deviations. Deviations can be caused by the deliverable progress being ahead or behind schedule, or it can be due to extra or missing requirements. Deviations from the plan characteristics are an indicator as to how probable it is that the project will fulfill its scope. Variance analysis using performance data can indicate or confirm that threats or opportunities are occurring, and can also be used to forecast project success in meeting budget, time, or quality objectives based on risk factors. Analysis may also uncover trends, such as a common factor leading to an increase in multiple risks, 
which can make risk management efforts more effective. Reserve analysis makes sure that an adequate contingency reserve is available for risks. There can be contingency reserves for cost and time buffers in the schedule. Contingency reserves are tapped for risk contingency and fallback plans, and one or two costly risks may deplete the reserve, making the project susceptible to funding or scheduling deficiencies if additional problems arise. Status meetings Risk discussions should be embedded in all regular project meetings because the first signs of a change in risk levels or identification of new risks is usually discovered by those closest to the executing tasks the project team, risk tolerance. Each project is a whole, its individual objectives, and the people involved have differing levels of risk that are acceptable. Safety, reputation, technical factors, contracts, reliability, cost, and schedule influence what amounts of risk are acceptable. The entities involved, like the customer, organization, and stakeholders, will also have their own attitudes towards risk, which may fluctuate depending upon the exact type of risk involved, what project objectives may be impacted, and what alternatives exist. The amount of tolerance a person or organization has for risks is referred to as its risk utility, which is a measure of how much negative impact the organization or person is willing to accept and trade for a potential positive benefit. As part of balancing risk, the project manager has to often facilitate an agreement between risk-averse and risk-tolerant viewpoints. Risk-tolerant risk-seeking these people have a willingness to accept risks even when the benefit DOES and seem worth the negative impact. Risk Averse These people have a tendency to avoid risks even when the reward outweighs the potential negative impact. Risk Neutral These people generally have a logical, balanced approach that is weighted against the pros and cons of the risk risk roles and responsibilities. Risk management activities for the project require roles to be established and personnel named to those assignments. The key roles in project risk management are Project Manager The project manager is responsible for overall risk management and ensuring that it properly coordinated with all other project management activities. Risk Manager the person responsible for establishing and overseeing risk management processes and coordinating them with the project manager. The risk manager monitors risks and regularly communicating the risk status to the project team and stakeholders. The risk manager will hold some level of decision-making authority, and where that authority begins and ends needs be documented in the risk management plan. Risk Owner this is the person who has the skills and expertise necessary to best manage a particular risk. This role assists in developing the risk responses, contingency plans, risk actions, and monitors the risk. Risk Action Owner or Risk Response Owner The person responsible for carrying out risk response activities for a particular risk. The project manager is responsible for ensuring that risk management is properly carried out. The risk manager establishes the overall project risk management methodology and for monitoring and controlling risks. Each individual risk has a risk owner, who is responsible for managing that risk, and one or more risk action owners, who will carry out risk response activity.